Yorana and welcome to Papaiti Tahiti. We are live at the IOC Beach Soccer Nations Cup 2019. My name is Paul Tui and it's match day three at a wet and windy park, Aorai Tinihau, local time 2 p.m. And it's the opening match of the day. Solomon Islands, Billy Kiki up against the newcomers, Tautahi of Tonga. Solomon Islands unbeaten after two matches. Well, they overcame New Caledonia 2-0 on uh, match day one. And yesterday, for a fight back from Vanuatu, Solomon Islands prevailed 4-2. For Tonga, meanwhile, it was a baptism of fire against the uh, tournament favourites, Tahiti. Tahiti winning that one 23 goals to one, a record score. Tahiti have the rest day today. They've got the bye. As we have a look at the table, well, Tahiti and Solomon Islands at the top, but uh, Tahiti with a far superior goal difference. A win here this afternoon for Solomon Islands will uh, certainly put one foot uh, for them in the final, the grand final on Saturday here at uh, Park Oyorai Tinihau. For Tonga, well, they will be wanting to turn things around after yesterday. It's a huge task for this young side. Yesterday, their first appearance at a beach soccer event, and uh, that was the toughest game you could possibly face in Oceania anyway, and uh, doesn't get much easier against Solomon Islands today. A team with a rich tradition in beach soccer in Oceania. Four times champions, there they are in the yellow. As we pause for the national anthems.
Well, the officials for today, first referee is Rudolf Tau of Tahiti. He'll be assisted by Felix Bayer and Pari Oito, also of Tahiti. And the timekeeper is uh, Malcolm Mayoyo of Vanuatu. The young Tongan side with a depleted squad today. Veteran uh, Khalifi Ueli is injured after the game yesterday against Tahiti. The one change in goal, Alamoni Kalfusi comes in for injured captain Sioni Takelo. Solomon Islands make four changes from yesterday's lineup. Abraham Bird replaces Fred Haller in goal. Roy Mafane retains his starting spot, uh, but he'll be joined by a returning Nicholas Murray and uh, Anthony Talo and McPhilip Aisa make up the outfield quartet. Solomon Islands, of course, coached by Gideon Omakirio and uh, Maka Mioni Loni at the helm for Tautahi. Tupo Uhatahi taking over the captaincy from Sioni uh, Takelo today. And uh, it's Roy Mafane's turn for Solomon Islands to uh, grab the captain's armband. That rain has uh, subsided for now. It's been uh, threatening all morning. But uh, as we had yesterday, that blustery wind will uh, play some havoc with the ball, I would imagine. As we pause now for the uh, sippy tau of the Sea Warriors of Tonga. So the young Tongan side, eight of the players coming from uh, the islands of Hapai, specialists in uh, beach soccer. That's the main form of the game in Hapai. And uh, a project started in 2015, culminating in their first appearance at the OFC Beach Soccer Nations Cup. Two matches on the card today, the late game today. We'll see Vanuatu up against uh, New Caledonia. Both sides looking for their first points in the tournament. And of course, uh, vital for both those sides to try and keep in touch with Solomon Islands and uh, the rampant Tahiti. So Solomon Islands uh, kicking from left to right will get us underway here. Three periods of 12 minutes and it's Aisa against the bar and uh, well relief for Kafusu early on. He's Talo now. Abraham Bird in goal for Solomons. Ulavalu and the ball into Uatahi, but he loses out to uh, Mafane, who's been one of the players of the tournament thus far. Talo, of course, uh, goalkeeper for the uh, famous Kurukuru futsal team. 
And here's the first scissors of the day. It came, comes from uh, Nicholas Murray. He's uh, and uh, the header directed wide. And Kafusi now going long into Uatahi. Uatahi with a good strike there. And uh, well, some work for Abraham Bird early on. and again wide it was an aerial bombardment from uh, Tiki Toa yesterday Solomon Islands will possibly keep it on the floor a little more it's good work there from uh, the Tongan skipper and uh, he's made a bright start he really had a difficult day yesterday gave away a number of free kicks somewhat unnecessarily but uh, Good opening couple of minutes here from uh, Tautahi. Masui it will be with the uh, corner. So change of plan, here's Mafani. Across to Talo. Talo just losing his feet there. And uh, Talo again with a chance to uh, set up Mafane. Clearance from uh, young Petersoni Ulavalu. He'll have his work cut out from this afternoon uh, with the Solomon Islands pivots. It'll be his job to uh, go man to man with them. Talo just uh, inching forward. Uh, over the top. But, uh, by this time yesterday, the uh, Tongans were three down to the rampant Tahitians. So I think uh, just a matter of grabbing some confidence on the sand. A huge step up for uh, Loni's young side. Here's Aisa now, but. Uh, the throw for Ulavalu. The strike uh, from Masui flicked on by Uatahi. Here's Mafane now. He's played small minutes than anybody else in this tournament. Open the scoring in uh, both Solomon Islands' previous games. Havili now losing out to uh, Muri. And they need to switch on here, Tonga. Could be too late as Talo lines it up, but uh, screws his shot wide, but uh, some slack defending there from Tautahi. Have to stay zoned in at all times. Havili number two works as uh, an assistant to the governor of Tonga, the man who named the uh, beach soccer team Tautahi, meaning uh, Sea Warriors. So far, Tonga acquitting themselves well here in their uh, second appearance on the sand. Talo with a firm strike, but uh, really straight down the throat of Kalfusi. And uh, Umatahi causing uh, a few problems. May have been Masui there, but uh, Tonga just uh, 
showing a little bit more on attack than uh, we saw yesterday for Robo. Joins his partner Mafani at the back in uh, a 2 1 1 formation. Naka has come in for uh, Murray. Naka at number 10. Thompson Peter has also checked in. Good work there from uh, Havili. The Koso now tussling with. For Robo, and it's back with Mafane and now Bird. Thompson Peter, nice one too with uh, For Robo. Good run there and a beautiful finish. And uh, Tonga unpicked there by lovely combination play. Yesterday, uh, most of that combination play was aerial, but this time Solomon Islands unpicked the young Tongans. It was a good one too. Thompson Peter linking with. Uh, for Robo and Naka has his first goal of the tournament, tapping in at the back post. So the first goal of match day three, and it's the veteran number 10, James Naka. Uatahi with the shot is wide of uh, Abraham Bird's upright. Here's for Robo now involved in that opening goal, as was this man, Thompson Peter. Max Farai into the uh, frame. He was impressive in uh, both previous games. Thrown away there by uh, Kafusu. again scored Tonga's only goal of the day yesterday it was a sensational strike to uh, beat Jonathan Toro here the only real moment of joy for Tautahi yesterday as uh, Uatahi tries to take on uh, Peter loses out and it's back with uh, Bilakiki for Ari into Robo cut out by uh, Ulavali. He will play some uh, big minutes today, you would imagine. As will this man, uh, Havili. He's knocking now, waiting for support. Tollins will have to watch here as there's a man at the back post. And this time it's Thompson Peter. Well, once again, they've been undone down this near side. I suspect ball watching from uh, the Tongan defence, and uh, it's a second goal. Good work here from uh, Fa'ari, and uh, an easy finish, really, for Thompson Peter, his second of the tournament. Just to uh, just need to keep their composure here. Solomon Islands growing in stature in this game. Their defence has been tough to breach. Vanuatu managed it yesterday on two occasions, both from uh, direct free kicks. He's knocking out, causing all sorts of problems for Ulavalu. And uh, Vicoso with a fairly tame effort, which a bird easily collects. For Robo now. Villa Kiki with the wind in their sails. And a good block there from uh, young Sioni Tuto, but uh, here comes the third. And uh, great composure shown there by uh, Fa'ari. And Tonga now just looking a little disorganized. They need to get to the break without conceding any further goals. 
composed finish from uh, the Solomon Island number seven. And a disconsolate looking uh, Tong inside. They started quite brightly, opening six or seven minutes to keep their heads up here. And uh, a strike this time from uh, Vicoso, but it's well wide. Nicely popped up by Ferrobo. And, uh, well, Kafusi was confident after yesterday, attempting another shot there. Fari now. Good combination again from uh, Solomon Islands. So strong with the ball on the sand. Able to uh, run with the ball, dribble, take players on. It's a good turn from uh, Vicoso, but Poipala uh, wins it and back to Bird. Just under two minutes on the clock, a miscontrol there from uh, Vicoso. Slim pickings for the uh, Tongan pivots so far in this tournament. As uh, it's like a foul on uh, Kalfusi. He's lucky there. Yeah, it's like he took an elbow to the ribs. So Kalfusi, well, scorer of Tonga's solitary goal yesterday. The lines one up from uh, a bit further out this time, but. He'll be looking to launch that sunset ball towards Abraham Bird. And it's not a bad strike from uh, Kafusi. Easy enough for Bird, but he got it on target. Here's Peter now. Again, showing those uh, skills to uh, take players on. And this time it's young Tutoni with the foul. And a chance for Thompson Peter to grab his second of the day. Spectacular effort from uh, Peter. But, uh, just need to negotiate this last uh, little period. I've been caught out on the back post uh, every time in the uh, early stages of this game. The keeper has four seconds to clear the ball. Looking at Billa Kiki outfit at the moment. So Murray winning the throw in. Players are allowed to throw or kick in from uh, the sideline. And attempt at a scissors kick there. The clearance is from Masui. And Tonga need to get it down the other end to safety. Mistake there from the keeper. And uh, cleared up by Uatahi. So Tonga go to the break. Uh, well, they were seven down yesterday. The three down this time. Goals from uh, Faari, Naka and uh, Thompson Peter. The difference between the two sides. And it's Solomon Islands 3, Tonga nil at the end of the first 12-minute period. Uh, 
as we have a look at the highlights. Znaka with the opening after some uh, fine combination work uh, down this near side. For Robo linking with Peter, who went on a strong run to set it up for the veteran number 10. And uh, similarly, Fahari setting it up there for uh, Thompson Peter. And uh, Naka to Fahari, who has his third of the tournament. Beautifully worked, really, from uh, Bilikiki. Showing once again their comfort on the ball, on the sand. And uh, the contrast to yesterday for the young Tongan side, they had to deal with the aerial supremacy of Tiki Toa. And uh, today, well, Solomon's taking them apart with the ball on the sand. So the baptism of fire continuing for uh, Makamioni Loni's young side, the Tautahi Sea Warriors. So we see uh, Khalifi Ueli dishing out the instructions. Ueli, uh, well, he was a big part of their efforts yesterday, but uh, he picked up a hamstring injury in the game with uh, Tahiti and uh, unable to take the field. I spoke with uh, the Tongan Kent this morning. Some hope he may be able to return for Friday, but uh, well, he's in his mid-40s now, Khalifi, and we're hoping some of the young chargers can step up and really uh, do the job for Tautahi. Anticipating a uh, quieter day here at uh, Park Aorai Tinihau with uh, Tiki Tour having the bye. They'll rest up, ready for the big one tomorrow. They uh, will take on Solomon Islands in the 4 p.m. game. Tonga play New Caledonia in the opener of match day four. And uh, of course, later today, New Caledonia up against Vanuatu in what should be a fascinating battle. Both sides have acquitted themselves well here at the tournament, but uh, neither have been able to pick up points as yet. New Kelly had the bye yesterday. Vanuatu, meanwhile, fell victim to uh, Solomon Islands. It was an interesting game. Solomon's prevailing 4-2 in the finish. But it's Tonga now with the kick. Havili looks like he'll set it up for skipper Uatahi. problem there for Bird. For Robo into today's skipper, Mafane. Been a little quieter than uh, the previous two days. Definitely a uh, candidate for uh, MVP in both games, really. Could be there or thereabouts when it comes to the golden ball. Depending, of course, on how uh, Solomon Islands go in the remaining fixtures. But uh, everybody picking them, it would seem, to uh, make the grand final Saturday, based on what we've seen so far. Fairi there with the shot, but uh, Uatahi is strong, but uh, unable to keep possession of the ball. soccer still something of a novelty to some players at the tournament many uh, involved uh, up until recent weeks in uh, 11 aside football in fact uh, a number of Yengen players from New Caledonia were uh, playing 11 aside uh, on Saturday arriving a day or two late for uh, this tournament
but uh, certainly Solomon Islands and uh, Tahiti have uh, dominated the previous two decades. And uh, it's going to be fascinating tomorrow. Both sides perhaps with a, a foot in the grand final, how they'll approach it. Thankfully, the rain uh, looks like it has uh, passed over for now as uh, Fa'eri shoots wide. Hopefully, the wind also will pass over. It's been quite strong these past two days. Or some disorder with the uh, signage. Still, we're back now with uh, Fa'iri. Ulavalu with the clearance. No damage yet uh, in this third for Tonga as yet. Here's Naka now. Floats one for Mafane. The block came from uh, Masui. It's uh, probably Tonga's strongest quartet on the uh, sand at the moment. Certainly defensively, uh, this trio at the back, but they've been unpicked here. And, uh, well, good fortune there for Robo. Nearly had his first of the tournament, but uh, he couldn't connect with Naka's pass. Well, he couldn't have been much closer. As Naka with the goal, well... Kafusi won't want to see the replay of that one. Naka it is, and really he foxed the keeper there. Farobo was lurking at the far post, but uh, some naive goalkeeping there from uh, Kafusi, and it's a fourth for Solomon Islands. So Sioni Takelo uh, checks in. The young leader of men, 21 years old. Skipper injured himself against Tahiti and uh, set out the opening stanza here, but uh, he's seen enough. Wants to get involved in the action. Following really the only mistake of uh, Alamoni Kafusi. And, uh, well, Ulavalu got away with it there and uh, it's gone in. Talo will claim it. It went in off uh, Havili. But uh, Tonga at sixes and sevens there and uh, Really some disorder in the defence. Here's Talo. With the shot and uh, for sure he'll claim that one. Here's Talo again, and uh, well, against the frame. The upright uh, and the crossbar has plagued Bilikiki in this tournament, and uh, Talo will be disappointed with his finish there. 
But again, Tonga just finding themselves in all sorts of trouble. They just need to get a foot in the sand, get compact. And uh, a freakish own goal. Well, need to see that one again. But uh, remarkable, really. Mafana, I think it was, with the shot. Or did it take a deflection off a Tongan player? So Mafane with the strike. And, uh, well, looks like Ulavalu got on the end of that. So just awaiting confirmation, but uh, for now, I think it may have been uh, Pitasoni Ulavalu with uh, well, a real novelty goal. Okay, I'm hearing news it may have been uh, Pinasamani Vecoso. Okay, I can confirm Pitasoni Ulavalu, number seven, has been accredited with uh, Tonga's goal. Well, an eternal memory for that young man. Well, a big gust of wind has uh, brought that rain back from the coast. Here's Bird now. Nafane might think uh, twice about shooting from his own uh, half for Robo now. Been impressed with uh, this back two of uh, Mafane and for Robo. Seven is Ulavalu, the uh, Tongan goal scorer. Anthony Talo floats one in to uh, Aisa, but uh, easily picked up by Takelo. Vicoso unable to keep position, and it's onto Farobo's left foot. But good work from Takelo to knock that one away for a corner. Sioni Takalo puts his heart and soul into his work. He was uh, distraught yesterday after the 21-3 loss and uh, when I caught up with him this morning, so disappointed uh, he couldn't start the match, but uh, he finds himself in here and uh, he's out of, uh, well, he's totally out of position and he's got away with it. Farobo still searching for his first goal of the tournament. some problems, perhaps just some water in the eye. Water administered by uh, Ulavalu, the scorer for Tonga. between uh, Mafane and Farobo again. It's uh, ter terrific work, but, uh, well, 
Sixes and sevens, Tong in defence, but they've got away with it. They were unpicked by some uh, wonderful combination play, but they got away with it. Well, entertaining stuff in the Tongan uh, goal area, but they've got away with it. Robo now. Over the top. Tonga managing to stem the flow somewhat, conceding only two in this second period. Here's Thompson Peter back in the match. Farobo has uh, moved forward, sets it up beautifully for Fairi. And uh, on second attempt, well, Ulavalu's had his work cut out for him all afternoon, but uh, Fairi, he's been one of the stars of the uh, opening three days of this tournament. He has his fourth goal uh, of the tournament, his second today. And a good finish from uh, the Solomon Islands, number seven. Well, they got three goals in the first period. They have three here in the second. And with just over two minutes left on the clock, it's Solomon Islands. Sorry, two minutes left in the uh, second period. Solomon Islands six, Tonga one. coming in from uh, the beach soccer wilderness to make their first ever appearance at an international tournament. If they can keep it under double figures today, I think they'll be, well, they should be reasonably happy with their efforts. They need to be strong against uh, a very smart Solomon Island side. Not exactly packed with experience. Solomon Islands, certainly uh, Bird, Halle, Muri, Talo, Aisa, and of course James Naka. We've seen them before at the uh, OFC event, but uh, some new younger players, such as this man, Mafani. Abraham Bird, usually playing uh, second fiddle to uh, Fred Haller. He's another new one uh, for Robo. So Takello has checked out again and Kafusi has come in. And uh, good clearance there from uh, Kafusi. Afane pops it up and uh, great clearance there. Good work from Havili. They've been fairly disciplined, Tonga, with the uh, free kicks. Haven't given so many away. It really cost them against Tahiti yesterday. The scissors was from uh, Mafane. Tonga go to the break, conceding another three. Solomon Islands, six. Tonga, one, as we head to the final period of the opening match on match day three at the OFC Beach Soccer Nations Cup here in Papiti. We have a look at the replay. That'll be uh, credited as an own goal to uh, Kalfusi. So he scored at both ends uh, in this tournament. Naka. Well, the wily old dog really foxed him there. Here's Talo.
good finish from Tello. Experience Tello too strong for the Tongan defence there. And then, uh, well, a sensational goal, really. Freakish goal. Bird was, uh, understandably, uh, fairly advanced in his area. And uh, great block from Ulavalu. And uh, he had his first and Tongan second of the tournament. We see Farobo set it up for Fairi. He needed two goes at it, and uh, Max Fairi, he's been uh, really terrific in the opening uh, three days. And uh, well, he got a second bite at it, and he made no mistake steering the ball past uh, to Tony Ulavalu and uh, the stranded Tongan goalkeeper. So what's the message here for Tautahi, Khalifa Ueli, a very proud man. He knows they can improve. Well, most people will feel they've got uh, the two hardest games out of the way on the opening. Uh, well, I'm sorry, they, they uh, had a buy on match day one, but on uh, match day two and today match day three. But uh, a first step on the sand for this. Young Tong inside. Plenty to play for here. Overall, I think uh, some improvement from yesterday. They seem a little more compact on defence. Chilled out looking at uh, Solomon Islands camp. Not much for Gideon Omakirio to say to his side. And uh, skipper to Paul Uatahi. Having a few words with the officials as we get set for the final 12 minutes of the opening game of uh, match day three. Looks like uh, Tonga will have the kick. Kafusi looks interested. So the Koso looks like he'll flick it up for. Uh, his skipper. Up to go wide. And uh, it's a tame effort from Ulavalu. Also precipice's op opening goal. Mafane now. Looking with uh, Talo. bench a change in atmosphere here didn't look happy with uh, the defensive structure of the uh, Tongan side and uh, he's still barking orders from the side but uh, good to see really he does not want to concede anymore and uh, well Picked apart again, it was the long ball. And Mafane, I think it was with the finish. 
as Bird went long and uh, a dummy from Afane and then Naka, crafty, just knocked it up for Mafane to finish for his third goal of the tournament. Very direct approach, but uh, some very smart uh, thought and execution there from uh, the Bilakiki. And it's an opening goal in this half, so it's 7-1 now. Here's this goal scorer at Mafane. Uatahi has dropped into uh, that central defender role. And uh, there he is, deflecting Naka's uh, flick away for a corner. Yes, yeah, change in structure. We, uh, Ulavalu has gone into uh, a winger role. And it uh, looks like uh, Uatahi is just going to sit in front of uh, Kaufusi, leaving uh, Masui and uh, Vikoso up front. So Mafane with the uh, strike. Picasso unable to do much with the, the long ball from uh, Kafusi. Here's Mafane now. Looks like he's going in for the kill, but he opts to just uh, slow it down. from uh, Solomon Islands. More characteristic uh, of a futsal side at the moment with uh, the pass and move. But uh, doesn't amount to anything. Thompson Peter linking up now with Farobo. Across to Mafane. Farobo going into an advanced position and uh, an interesting rotation here. Very mobile looking Billa Kiki at the moment. Looking to pick Tonga apart, but uh, well, I've been impressed with uh, Haveli. He's a hard worker and uh, doing his best uh, under difficult conditions. For Robo, it is with the uh, harmless header away. And danger averted for now, at least by Tautahi. The long throw, but easily picked off by Farobo. And away goes. Pilot. He hasn't had a lot of game time, but uh, looks a promising player, the number nine. Scored a much celebrated goal yesterday against Vanuatu. Yeah, here's that rotation again from uh, Solomon Islands. Looking to work the Tongans around the pitch. They uh, communicating well at the moment, managing to just keep Billa Kiki in their own half. Yuri back into Bird. And, uh, much better from Tonga in this third. And uh, good strike there. Possibly would have been on target from Vicoso, but uh, it's this last couple of minutes, Tonga just growing a little bit into their defensive work. It's a good challenge from to Tony. And a 
chance for Vicoso now. Goes one on one with Murray, but uh, in fact, it's uh, a teammate that uh, collects the ball off him. And there's the strike. Good uh, save. Tomlins take a breather. Kafusi throws it away. And uh, Tahi doesn't need to panic here. Had his keeper if he needed him. Here's Murray now. The composed number six for Robo on the far side. Aisa is on the court. Looks like Uatahi may have given well. No, he's got away with that. And uh, Solomon Island surge forward and a good block again. Uatahi putting in a big shift in this final third. Tonga will be anxious to keep it under double figures. I personally think it'll represent uh, a good afternoon's work against uh, a classy Bilikiki side. A direct free kick, a chance for Tavita Havili. The Harpai governor's assistant. Oh, no, the ball's been handed to uh, Penasamani Vekoso. So it is with the opportunity to pull one back for Tautahi. No problems for Bird into a returning Anthony Talo. Tonga with five minutes left to negotiate. and uh, good work again from uh, Kafusi, growing in confidence. Clearance he goes long into uh, Uatahi. It's like Uatahi has gone back into the pivot role. Indeed, he has. Ulavalu uh, is charged with the, the central uh, defensive role for the Tongans, and it's he uh, who performs the block there. Here comes Murray now. in no hurry to uh, grab an eighth, it would seem. Again, uh, very vocal Khalifa Ueli on the sideline, encouraging his side. Good work from Uatahi. He's had a good uh, third period. And here's the youngster, Tutoni. Loses out, though, to the more experienced Muri. Muri surges away and links up with Naka. And uh, good defence from uh, Ulavalu. Perhaps a bit unlucky there not to win the throw. And a good clearance also from Havili against the bar. And a bit of luck for the Tongans. Well, no one will begrudge them that. It's a gallant performance from uh, Tatahi this afternoon against uh, the superior Solomon Island side. Oh, 
Here comes Fauri now, and a chance for Naka. But a uh, fairly casual flick from the number 10. And a chance now for Otahi. But uh, Muri down in the sand. And uh, wins himself a free kick. Following the challenge of uh, the Tongan pivot. He uh, from a fine family of footballers in uh, Tongatapu. Made the trip to Hapai uh, along with uh, Masui for the training camp a couple of weeks ago. And uh, Muri pops it over the crossbar. Just the tiny islands of uh, Hapai. Beach soccer specialists. Uh, taking in this live broadcast, the live transmission from uh, Papaiti. Well, to the people of Hapai, if you're out there, you can be very proud of your side this afternoon, counting down towards uh, the final whistle. And uh, great strike and a chance for Naka and Talo, but uh, well, it hasn't worked out for them. And the final strike is wide, so. Smile on the face of Fa'eri. Could have had his hat-trick there. But uh, Tonga hanging on in this third period. They've only conceded one. Lovalu, the scorer, gives it away. And here it is again. Need a bit more urgency here, the Tongans. And uh, Talo it is who puts it wide. Frustration for the Solomon Islands number eight. But, uh, well, fortune favours the brave. And I think Tonga have been pretty brave in this final third. Ueli has had them uh, significantly more organised in this final period. And again, uh, good work from Havili there. But uh, looks like a free kick. But uh, Havili is the man who's uh, won it. One of the candidates for Tonga's Player of the Day, I think. the opportunity to uh, strike one towards Abraham Bird. Joseph Pali checking in for Tonga, the 15-year-old. Another one of the young Hapai boys. And uh, good work again from uh, the Tongan defence. And a chance now for Vicoso. And Vicoso... Unable to convert. Kapusu looks like he uh, remembered nothing from that challenge, but back on his feet is Thompson Peter now. seconds on the clock and it's back with uh, Kafusi. well when I spoke with the uh, Tongan side they wanted to work in the thirds they wanted to try and do as well as they could in uh, each one of these periods of 12 minutes and well that's their best 12 minutes in their history really they've managed to keep uh, 
vastly uh, superior Solomon Islands side to just one goal. Solomon Islands are top of the table. They've got nine points. They will finish match day three uh, top of the table because Tahiti do not play. But a uh, big part of the story, the proud effort of Tonga's Ta Tahu 